Hey guys, today we're talking about the three whiskey cocktails every guy should know. What's up guys, welcome back to Gen Science. If you have not hit that subscribe button yet, hit that right now. We are here every week talking about fashion, lifestyle, whiskey, cigars, all of the above. But today we're talking about three whiskey cocktails that every guy should know. So I think these are the essential whiskey cocktails. These are really the only ones I make anymore. I got really into bartending and mixology like five years ago and I was the guy that had all these different, you know, herbs and bitters and all this stuff. And after about five years of just making cocktails for my friends and never hanging out at my own parties, I decided these are the three cocktails that I make and these are the three cocktails you get when you come to my house. So up first, we're gonna make an old fashioned. So for the old fashioned, you're going to need an old fashioned glass and a mixing glass. Now this could be a pint glass, but I happen to have a mixing glass. And then you're going to need some simple syrup, some bitters, an orange, and a lemon, and some Luxardo cherries, which are, I guess, optional, but not really in my case, because they kind of make the cocktail. And I like to use a rye whiskey. You can use bourbon, whatever you want, but as long as it's whiskey, it makes it old fashioned. So I'm using the High West Double Rye. I think it still comes through in the cocktail and gives the sweetness of the ingredients, still a little spice, so you can still taste the whiskey a little bit, which I think is important in a cocktail. All right, guys, so the old fashioned is a very, very simple cocktail. Um, I like to do four dashes of Angostura bitters, so, you know, good four dashes. I like to add sometimes a dash of orange bitters if I have it on hand. I happen to not have it on hand today, but if you want to throw a dash of orange bitters in there, I think it makes the cocktail go a long way because you see a lot of people muddling cherries and oranges and it just kind of waters down the cocktail. So we're not going to do that today. We're going to make a good old fashioned. So after you got the bitters in, you want to add half an ounce of simple syrup. Like I said, guys, make your own simple syrup at home. This was a leftover bottle. So half an ounce of simple syrup and then two ounces of whiskey. And then you want to fill your mixing glass up with ice. So once you have your mixing glass filled up with ice, you want to grab your bar spoon and stir. The more ice you have in your glass, the easier it is going to be to stir. So, you know, fill it up with as much ice as you have and it will make it easier to stir and look a little bit cooler while you're stirring. So, probably about 20 to 30 stirs if you're counting. But basically just till the glass gets nice and chilled. From there, you want to take your old fashioned glass Put a nice big hunk of ice cube in it. You really don't need an ice cube if you were gonna drink it quickly, but sometimes it's nice to, you know, let the drink dilute a little bit more if you're not a normal whiskey drinker. This probably isn't the first whiskey cocktail you go to if you're not a whiskey guy yet, but it is a delicious one. So basically you just wanna strain that into an old fashioned glass. Like so. But you're not done yet. Up next, you got a garnish. So I like to do a lemon peel and an orange peel. I think it just adds a little extra flavor to it. So you wanna take your peeler, peel a lemon slice off, kind of mist it over the drink, throw it in, and then grab an orange peel. And if you really wanna get fancy, you can flame the orange peel. It kind of caramelizes the essence of the orange and gives it a little deeper flavor, which I like to do one, because it looks cool, and two, because it tastes better. So what you wanna do is you wanna grab a match, light the match, slowly warm the skin of the orange, and then squeeze really quickly so you'll get a nice, powerful flame. Throw that in there. And last but not least, you wanna throw a Luxardo cherry in there, which they are the best cherries, and if you're not gonna put this cherry in your old fashioned, do not put any cherries at all, and just serve it like this. So, one Luxardo cherry. And that, my friends, is an old fashioned. Cheers. All right, guys, so that was the old fashioned. Up next is probably the simplest cocktail of all time, um, a highball or scotch and soda, however you want to look at it. I would recommend having decent scotch because you don't really want to water down really, really good scotch. Like Macallan 25, just kind of sip it on its own. So anything in the $30 to $75 bottle range is probably a good candidate for a scotch and soda. So what you're gonna need for a scotch and soda is a highball glass. Now a highball glass is a little taller and thinner 
Then an old fashioned glass, you wanna fill that up with ice. You wanna add about two ounces of scotch. I'm using the Brooklady Laddie 10, which is an amazing scotch, one of my favorites. Um, great, neat, but also really, really nice in a highball. So fill that up, add about two ounces of whiskey, and then add your soda water. So what you wanna do is you wanna pour the soda down the side of the glass so it doesn't release all the bubbles in the soda water. So you want as much bubbles as you can get. So be gentle when you're pouring, and that is a highball or scotch and soda. Very, very simple, very delicious. Hmm. All right, guys, and last but not least, we're going to make a whiskey sour. And for all you manly man out there, it should be served in a coupe, but you can put it in whatever glass you want. I'm going to make it in the correct glassware. So what you're gonna need for a whiskey sour is some lemon juice, an egg, some simple syrup, woo, some bitters, and once again, Luxardo cherries are optional, but if you wanna add them, it will make it delicious. So this is a shaken cocktail, guys. A little rule of thumb for you. If you are making a cocktail and it calls for fruit juice or some sort of acid, it's probably a shaking cocktail. So 90% of the time, you are shaking that cocktail. So what you're gonna need is some lemon juice. Um, I'm going to actually peel this lemon because I'm gonna garnish with it right now. So if you're going to use you know, garnishes, I would recommend peeling all the peels off of your lemons first so you can use them later for extra garnishes and you're not wasting any part of the lemon. So for a whiskey sour, you're gonna want about an ounce of lemon juice. Um, I like to use just one full lemon. Sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less, but you're going to be close enough. But we're gonna measure it out. So have our lemon squeezer here and our ounce jigger. So we're gonna squeeze into that over the cup, not lose any. And what do you know? One lemon is one ounce, so perfect. Then you're gonna want about three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup and the white of one egg. So once you have your lemon juice, your simple syrup, and your egg white in the shaker, you're gonna to wanna to add two ounces of whiskey. Now, a little pro tip for a whiskey sour. Once you got everything in, don't add any ice to it yet. Just throw it in the tin and give it a little shake. So shake it well. You know, there's no ice in there. This is kinda of gonna fluff up the egg white, which is what you want in a whiskey sour. Also be careful because it adds kind of a little bit of pressure in there. So it might pop open if you don't have a very good secure lid on your shaker. So, you know, shake gently. All right guys, so now we're going to add some ice to this. And then just give it a light shake just to chill. And then you just wanna fine strain this into a coupe glass. So, you know, if you got any lemon seeds or something in or ice chips in your shaker, the fine straining is going to take it out. Alrighty, so to finish off the cocktail, you just wanna dribble on a little bit of, a few dashes, a few dots of bitters. Ooh, coming out quick. Just gonna add a little extra flavor to it. And then, like I said, if you want to, you can spoon a Luxardo cherry into the mix just to add a little surprise at the end. And let me shove that in. So then you just wanna garnish with a lemon peel, fold it over a little bit, and then add it to the end of the cocktail. And that, my friends, is a whiskey sour. This is an old fashioned, and this is a scotch and soda. And these are the three whiskey cocktails you need to know. These are super simple, super good, and you know, this whiskey sour is kind of more for the people that aren't really whiskey people yet. So that's kind of gonna ease everybody into it. Old Fashioned is just a classic standard cocktail, in my opinion, better than a Manhattan, but it's kind of still the same vibe. And a scotch and soda is for someone who wants to kind of sip scotch neat, but also wants to, uh, you know, take their time a little bit. So this is, goes a little bit slower than scotch neat or scotch on the rocks, this lasts a little bit longer. So this is the three cocktails you need to know for whiskey. We're gonna do this for gin, tequila, and vodka, but these three are my favorite cocktails. I make them quite often at my house and hope this was helpful for you guys. Let me know in the comments below what I should do next. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, hit that right now. We are here every week talking about stuff like this. So, cheers guys, thank you.